In this video, we will talk about how to find the surface area of a trapezoidal prism. So let's check out an example here. Let's say we have this trapezoidal prism and we want to find the surface area. So that's just the area of all of the outside sides of the figure. So there are six total sides. So to find the surface area, here's what we can do. We can write SA, I'll abbreviate surface area, is equal to, we'll notice that there's a front trapezoid right here and there's also a back trapezoid. And these two will be identical to each other. So we'll say we have to do two times the area of the trapezoids. I'll just label it trap. Plus, we have to add the area of this bottom rectangle right here. So let's say bottom rectangle. Plus, we have to add the area of this top rectangle right here. So we'll say plus top rectangle. And then lastly, we have to add the area of these two side rectangles. So this side and this side, which will be identical. So we'll say two times the side rectangles. So how can we find the area of, let's start with the trapezoids. Well, the formula to find the area of a trapezoid is, I'll write a two right here. We have base one plus base two divided by two times the height. Now, in this case, base one is going to be this shorter base right here, which we can see this has a length of three. So let's label this three right here. Let's call that base one. And then base two will be this longer base right here. So let's label this five centimeters. Let's label that base two. And then the height right here is given as 10 centimeters. So we'll label this as the height. Okay, next we have to find the area of this bottom rectangle. So this rectangle down here, it's just going to be this side times the length of this side. So let's call this side this eight centimeters, let's call that the width. So we'll say B2 times W, that's what we need to do there. Plus this top rectangle, to find the area there, we just do this side, which we already labeled B1, times this side, which is equivalent to the width right here. So we'll say B1 times W. And then lastly, we have two times the side rectangle areas. So these side rectangles, we have an eight right here on this dimension, and we have to multiply it by this dimension, which is going to be equivalent to this side right here, which is six centimeters. So let's call this side, this six centimeters, let's call that L for the slant height right here. So the slant height times the width is going to get us the area of the two side triangles. So let's write L times W. So this is the formula that we can use to find the surface area. Now let's plug in all the values that we know and see what we get. So let's write that down here. Let's make a little room. So we'll say two times base one plus base two. So base one is three and base two is five. So I have three plus five divided by two times the height. And the height we see is 10 centimeters. So we'll say times 10. And then we have to add the bottom rectangle area, so that's B2 times W, so B2 is 5, W is 8, so we get 5 times 8, plus B1 times W, so this is the top rectangle, so B1 is 3, and W is 8, so we'll get 3 times 8, and then lastly we have 2 times L times W, so L, we said that's the slant height, is 6, and W is 8, so we get 2 times 6, times eight. So let's see what we get. Here we have three plus five, that's eight divided by two is four, times 10 is 40, so two times 40, that's 80, plus five times eight is 40, plus three times eight is 24, plus two times six is 12, 12 times eight, that's 96. So we end, when we add all of these values together, we get 240 and remember our units is centimeters, so we'll say centimeters squared since we're talking about area. So the surface area of this trapezoidal prism is 240 centimeters squared. And you can use this exact same process to find the surface area of any trapezoidal prism. Just find the area of the two trapezoids, add the area of the bottom rectangle, then add the area of the top rectangle, and then add the area of the two side rectangles.